Rodrance for Black and White Sports. We're going to talk about the NBA playoff ratings and them getting what I can only refer to as Winnie the Pooh wearing a China shirt, ass-driving LeBron James drove by Hannity and Tucker Carlson in the ratings last night. Overall viewership for the NBA playoffs, the marquee game was a hot-ass mess. By the by the way, LeWoke James still has not mentioned Cannon Hennett's name. Hashtag say his name. Even if you say his name now, it's well too late. As we know, LeBron is full-on Black Lives Marxist. That is correct. The NBA chose to alienate many viewership uh, viewers when they decided to get in bed with the socialist Marxist organization and wrote huge letters across the court. This says Black Lives Matter. So every time we can, we're going to highlight when they get the holy crap stomped out of them. And one thing I was highly curious about was what were the ratings? Because the Clippers and the, and the Mavericks played each other. You know, might have been a good game to have watched if y'all hadn't decided to go full-blown lefty. Okay? Let's talk about the actual numbers, okay? Because we are talking... Total viewership, NBA first round, 9, 10 p.m. gain, ESPN, 2.278 million viewers. That's the marquee game, by the way. Tucker Carlson, 4.127 million viewers. By the way, Hannity got 3.882 million. And in case you're wondering... The NBA almost got beat by the Ingram angle on Fox News. 2.163 million. On a side note, she beat the other NBA playoff games. Um, the next game, the one that started at 6, 6.39 p.m., also on ESPN, uh, 2.095 million. They had one that started at 4.21 p.m., 1.303 million, and then one at 1.39 p.m., 1.182 million. Um, I've also heard people try to use the old excuse, well, they're playing during the day. Yes, they are playing during the day, during a middle of a pandemic in which everybody and their mama has got an iPad around, a laptop around, they're working from home, they can easily turn on the game in the background, which we count as view. And guess what? People that work have turned the NBA off. <laughs> you know, Republicans. Oh, I had to go there. It was too easy. It was it was low hanging fruit, so to speak. So uh, this makes me Happier than Tucker Carlson staring at you and then laughing hysterically. Look, you come out, you make political statements when people want to use sports as a getaway from politics and from serious everyday life. That's exactly what sports is supposed to be. And on top of it, you align yourself prematurely with a socialist organization that's a bad look. And, by the way, I, I know a lot of people, he, there's a perception that no Republicans were NBA fans. 26% of all NBA fans were, in fact, Republicans. If you want to know what that works out to per million, that is 260,000 viewers. Oh, I'm waiting. Anything? Yeah, that's a lot of, that's a lot of money. And 31% are independent, which I would guess are all of a sudden, in the wake of all the violence around the country, leaning pretty damn right all of a sudden. People are hashtag walking away in droves. Tucker Carlson, Tucker 2024. I like Tucker Carlson. Uh, he is manhandling the NBA this year 
It's even uglier during regular season games. But the marquee game of the NBA playoffs, Ned Beatty style, uh, uh, uh. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Subscribe. Black and white sports.